guys, Whipchip here with a brand new video, and today I'm going to be showing you guys my custom LEGO Explorers Club. Now, this Explorers Club mock I made with Mecha Bricks, not sponsored, but I was really excited when I found out that I could use Mecha Bricks to build stuff like this on my own. So, as you guys all know, I am a very big bricks and, I guess, parts kind of guy. I like building things with my hands. So it was really interesting going from that to building something like this on this digital designer program. And let me just say, it was actually really hard for me to do, but I really enjoy the outcome of how it looks. So let's get into it. Now, you guys probably remember the Explorers Club from Lego Ninjago Secrets of Forbidden Spinjitsu, as well as Season 15. It was a pretty big part in both of those, containing two very big artifacts, as, like, you know, the Storm Amulet, as well as the Scroll of Forbidden Spinjitsu. Both very big and key artifacts to this, those respective seasons. But designing this, it was actually a very tough thing to do, trying to capture the exact scale from the TV show into this like mock design. So of course, I do got to give a big shout out to um, Sam's Brick Lab because I based my entire mock off of his, which is very cool. He inspired me to build this entire thing from the ground up, so thank you so much for him. So going off of that, you can just sort of see Mecha Brick's design. You kind of have to move it around a little bit. It's a little bit challenging, and again, like again, you have to add in every single one of these bricks, and you can add them in multi different colors. It's very fun. Comment if you guys want to see a Mecha Brick tutorial. I'm always glad to show it. So you can sort of see just all the different pieces I use to sort of build the front gate. You can see I use a lot of these dark red bricks as well as these green, uh, these green plates for the grass. Some nice tiled off bricks for like this sort of like I guess like this driveway area area of the Explorers Club. It's weird because in the TV show, it's not big enough for a vehicle, but it also looks a little too big for a person. But I still added it anyway. Now, you might be wondering, where the heck are the doors to the front of the Explorers Club? Well, of course, I did add them in later. I made a bricks and pieces order and bought all of these parts, and included in that were all the doors. So there are a couple other parts in this build missing doors, but of course, you know, there's that. Um, I also just see this archway I completely stole from Nick the Bricks Design, which is, of course, no, it's Sam brick lab which is what it is now you can also see I have them lanterns I have some nice windows on the side again just trying to capture that nice Explorers Club look which is a very I guess interesting and very detailed look from the TV show moving up you can see these windows were actually very tough to design for me placing them in sort of like this like I guess these ways was really hard because you can see across there are six of these windows across the line but of course for me it was just very hard to sort of space them out you can also see on the sides i have these little gray bricks again another detail from sam's brick lab that i just completely stole but it's also on the main thing in my original design i had them be white to sort of match these white uh strips across the sides but i ended up going with this more gray design which i think works so much better than that white design ever did i really do feel like i made the right choice there i'm so glad i did moving up to the top you can just see another couple rows of the windows as well well as the roof. The roof was actually very tough to design, and it might be a little too big, but I actually really like the way it looks, and I went with a dark blue, whereas in the show it might look like a black. I'm kind of undecided, because we only ever saw it at night, and then the day, we only saw it in very bad quality. But of course, I did end up going with that blue, which I think very much accents the red very, very well. Now, on the inside, you can sort of just see all of my different details, such as the roof area, which has, like, of course, like the fan where they break in, as well as all of that different piping and stuff, which they, you know, go around. I do plan on adding more when I get the physical bricks and just, you know, are, am, am able to install my Antonio Lego designer touch. Like I said, I did design all of this from the ground up, except I did steal a couple of key things from Sam's Brick Labs. Moving down, you can also see I have this room here, which is really cool to me. I had a lot of fun, like, just designing the interior of the room. Now, okay, so this is really, this is a really big problem I have with this. In the TV show of the Explorers Club, we see this sort of main floor at the very bottom, as well as this floor here, which has, like, the coffee table, as well as the, I guess, like, the projector and slides. Now, in the show, we, the first thing we see of them is that the floor is on the second window, but then in season 15, we see that Calamar crashes through the second floor, or I guess the main lobby with the projector, and it's on the ground floor. So I had to make a big choice whether or not I wanted where I wanted all these things to be. I also have all three of the rooms from Seekers of Forbidden Spinjitsu up on the third floor, just because 
I felt like that was like the appropriate place to put them. I do realize that they should be on the same floor as this place with the projector, but that was just my placement of it. You can see in this room you have the mirror that shows your greatest fear. That was actually very fun to design. I wanted to give my own take on it and do what I think looked best like it. I also have some crates in here, which I did end up buying off of bricks and pieces, even though I do have a couple excess crates. I have a couple of bookshelves here, which are actually really irritating to build. I remember thinking just like, ugh, I just want to be done building these bookshelves just because it's a lot of copy and pacing. That was very uh, boring, as well as this little hole, this Technic hole to hold up the trap door which of course you know you can fall into from the fan. This room I actually have empty right now, which I plan on filling with my own bricks, which is the entomology room, as well as the room that holds a scroll of forb forbidden spinjitsu. Now I actually measured it and it won't be able to fit, but that is no problem for me as I will just shave down the piece to be able to fit inside of it. Moving down to the bottom, we have this sort of, again, like the floor with the projector, as I like to call it, or the main floor. You can see that I added this projector screen here, as well as a little table with the projector. I bought chairs, and tables, don't worry, as well as I have already built the, the, um, coat rack that he uses to defend against the Merlopians. Of course, some bookshelves, as well as these stairs. Now, originally, I was very scared about building the stairs. I did not want to do it, but in the end, I am so glad I did. I really like the way these stairs turned out, and I'm so happy with just the way they look. They look so good, and I'm so happy that they look the way they do. Also, this rug right here, I did end up stealing from the Disney Castle. I really like the design of it, and I just remember thinking, wow, that Disney Castle rug looks so cool. So, I looked up the instructions, and definitely, uh, took those took my ideas from that I there's just a lot of stealing in this video <laughs> moving on you can also see that these stairs on each side are also very detailed you can see one of them has carpet and one of them doesn't don't worry I ordered enough for both of them to have carpet but I just didn't feel like you know adding them to the build as this is more of I guess a rough design than the final model you can also see the one of the best parts about mecha bricks is that you're able to actually zoom in really close on the build which is just so nice because you're able to get into so many different crafts crevices and all these different things that you just wouldn't be able to get to when you know when you're building it and I just thought that was really helpful when building the staircase which of course as you can see is very very detailed I really like the way I have the cheese slopes giving a nice railing I've always wondered how to build Lego railings and I sort of looked at the Simpson house for an idea which I think works very 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 well moving out you can just see again like just how detailed this thing is you might realize where Cecil desk where's Cecil's desk don't worry I have that and I do plan on building a sphinx very soon but yeah that'll do it for this video i had so much fun building this explorers club and i really hope you guys enjoyed seeing it i did order all of the pieces off of bricks and pieces so you will be seeing a couple hauls coming up soon and of course all of that good stuff i can't wait to show you guys what this thing looks like in real life and i can't wait to build it with you i plan on doing a live stream and again opening up all of those bricks and pieces hauls as well as a video reviewing it but yeah thanks guys so much for watching and have a great day